Dr. Arun Gandhi was a direct descendant of Mohandas Gandhi, known as the father of India. I had the privilege of interviewing him earlier this year on January 30th, coinciding with the 75th anniversary of his grandfather's murder. Despite needing oxygen support, his words were both audible and articulate. Dr. Arun Gandhi passed away May 3rd, 2023. As the presiding chair of the Parliament of the World's Religions, I felt honored when Dr. Arun Gandhi accepted my invitation to serve on our board of trustees. Dr. Gandhi was an individual of strong principles. He was firm but polite. He was an advocate of Palestine. He even stated that the Palestinians' plight is significantly more severe than the blacks in apartheid South Africa. The University of Rochester forced him to resign from the institute he himself founded when he criticized the Jewish community in a Washington Post article. To gain more insight into this remarkable man, I invite you to watch our full interview on Muslim Network TV, linked here. Here are some highlights of my conversation with him. When I asked about his personal thoughts about his grandfather, Mohandas Gandhi, his responses were profound. He was a very loving grandfather. And he was very approachable. He was very simple and humble person. Uh, you know, anybody could approach him at any time and, and talk to him or get his advice. Um, and I remember many uh, lessons that he taught me during that time. When I asked him about the lessons he learned from his grandfather, his focus primarily was managing anger. The first lesson that he taught me was about anger. He said anger is like electricity. It's just as useful and just as powerful, but only if we use it intelligently. But it can be just as deadly and destructive if we abuse it. So just as we channel electrical energy and bring it into our lives and use it for the good of humanity, we must learn to channel anger in the same way so that we can use that energy for the good of humanity rather than abuse it and cause death and destruction. When discussing the assassination of his grandfather, he shared some unexpected views. God say Gandhi's assassin is actually celebrated in India today, led by the BJP RSS regime. Some people even worship him. Dr. Gandhi suggests that the main motive behind his grandfather's murder was his opposition to the caste system. Yeah, that's what happens when you become a fanatic. And uh, Hindu, uh, uh, the, the Hindus were very fanatical, uh, especially the RSS and the, uh, you know, they've been very clever in having several layers of uh, uh, political activists. So now they call themselves the BJP, uh, which is basically the RSS, but uh, just another name for it. Um, and, and so they get away with it by saying that, well, we are not connected with the RSS, but the RSS are doing this and we can't stop them. Uh, which is a lie. Uh, they are. They all believe in the same philosophy, and uh, it's very sad. Uh, and and the saddest part of it is that although they have made this out uh, as a assassination because grandfather was very um, uh, lenient towards Muslims and uh, you know was giving. Muslims, uh, what rights they uh, had incurred by the partition. <coughs> that was not really the case. The real reason why they assassinated him 
was because he had said that after partition after the independence he wanted to abolish the caste system he was going to take uh, steps to abolish the caste system and 98% of the politicians and the bureaucrats who inherited the government from the british were from the upper two castes the brahmins and kshatriyas and they didn't want their uh, status to be uh, diluted and uh, so they felt that a martyred gandhi is better than a living gandhi because he would have made hell for them and so they just turned their eyes away when these people um, <clears throat> conspired to kill him so that is the real uh, story behind it but both the government and the <clears throat> the rss are hiding behind uh, the muslim issue basically it was the caste system because the and almost the entire rss and bjp is made up of the high caste people and uh, they just didn't want their situ- uh, position to be diluted or 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 lessened and of course the brahmin generally supported the idea uh, because their control over religion was uh, strong and they just wanted to keep it that way but if the whole situation was uh, changed then they wouldn't have that same control over religion well i you know we have to live with hope otherwise life would become intolerable so we always hope that something good will come out of uh, things and uh, i am hoping that something good will come out and uh, people in india will understand and realize that this kind of um, fragmentation that is taking place at the moment uh, is not what uh, civilization is about civilization is about becoming uh, one he became somewhat philosophical when i asked him if there is hope for india in this bjp rss led country 